Alright, so I'm going to take a few minutes to show you guys how to set up your future pinball tables to work with the LED Wiz. Sorry about my mic, it'll cost four dollars. The first thing we need to know is there are a few reserved words used by the LED Wiz class. If you have any of these words anywhere in your code as a variable, you're going to have to rename it to something else. It's not a big deal, but it's something to look out for if you start getting errors. Now we're going to open up the LED Wiz helper table. It says everything you need in it to put on your table to connect it to the LED Wiz. For this tutorial, I'm going to update the Aliens Legacy pin cab To get started, we're going to go into the helper table, click on the translate, and hit Control A or drag your mouse around everything here and hit copy. Don't try and shift click or you're going to miss something. There's a whole stack of timers right here and you, you don't want to click just one, you need to get them all. So we're going to go to the translate on the table that we're editing and paste that. You can move it anywhere you like out of the way. Now we're going to go back to the LED Wiz helper table again and open the script. There's only one line of code in here. Just copy that code and paste it onto your table script. You can paste it just about anywhere. I like to paste it just after the option explicit line. there's one thing left we need to do and that's import the binary font this is how the future pinball table talks to the hardware through this font if you don't have the font it, your LED Wiz is going to do some crazy things so we're going to go to table font manager and import binary font dmdf that's it everything's set up so, I think a good thing would be if when a bumper was hit, one of the Cree LEDs connected to the LED Wiz will flash. So let's find the the bumper hit event listener in our script. And add two lines of code. And tell it to use the LED Wiz object and pick flasher left. We're going to set the color to an RGB value of 255.00. That's red. And then we're going to tell the LED Wiz Flasher left and set its state to flash. You could turn it on or turn it off. Setting it to flash will just blink at one time for whatever the duration is set to. By default, it's 100 milliseconds. So I'm going to copy these two lines of code and put them into the other bumper methods. I'm going to change the left flasher to the center flasher and let's make this one yellow that's 255, 255, 0 and I'm going to change this flasher to the right flasher, flasher right let's change this to green 0, 255, 0 that's all it takes. Let's see it in action.